Okay, so what we have on the screen here is the Timer Pro. Uh, up in the uh, above the ribbon, you can see the new option, Pivot Head Point of View. We click on that there. And what we've done is we've added a couple of other options in the right there, the info area, uh, the point of view uh, video that will take you out to our website with a web page, and this is the actual recording that shows the, the document here. And then we're going to import some files, so we go to import files. And we created a browse here. You can just, this we can actually look down into the pivot head. We just grab the files we want, click on the open, and it brings it right back in here. We've also got a uh, timeline feature there. You click on the timeline, and it brings up a little chart at the top there, which you can size, of course. And we can actually scale that now. What we have there at the top is actually showing the uh, a video, and then a snapshot, then another video, then a space. Then so this is actually a timeline. You can see as, as we hover over them, it's actually showing you the videos that are down below there, and you can just as you move around. So you want to see the the uh, the, uh, the snapshot. You can click on the snapshot, which is the one above. It'll throw the snapshot into the video there. If you uh, hover over one here, you can click on it. It will play the last. If you look at the selections on the uh, on the left there, here we're showing the last 30 seconds of it. So just by clicking on it on the green bar there, it will actually play back that piece of video for you. Yeah, there's no nothing playing. It's just showing you here, but you can see the time being recorded there. So it gives them a way to play back the videos, and you can notice they can do either the the last so many seconds or the first so many seconds here. Uh, so we create the timeline. Also, if we go back over to the data collection area, this is the main part of the package. There's a pivot head icon there. If you look, if you just click on that pivot head icon, Jeff. I'll take them away. You can see there's a pivot head icon there. If they click on that, it'll bring back up those uh, those two items that you can see. It. So they can actually select the video they want to play by just uh, using the uh, the, um, the pivot head data. So just click on one of them, and then they can record some time. So just we can record some time here. So just a few seconds here. Just call it test. You see it running there. Call it test. Get part. We stop it, and we save it. And now it's added as an observation there. If they want to go to another video, they just click on the next video they want to use. If they want to get rid of the videos, they just click on the pivot head icon. And that gets rid of the options. This is a toggle. They can toggle it on and off. So you see it's going off there. And they can record it. And just call it test two or whatever. And they're going to click that in there. So it gives you a good way to move between the, the pivot head videos. Want to bring up another video? Click on the pivot head icon in the uh, toolbar right there. Okay, and it comes back up again. And again, this still works. So you can do it either from the timeline or from the data there. So this will actually allow us to take the videos that you're going to create uh, from the streaming videos, bring them right in here, and then we're going to tie in some uh, quality assurance things that we'll show you when we get to that probably next week. All right, we've also got uh, some scaling done in the chart at the top because obviously that could be several hours and we might not want to have uh, everything so tight. So we can click on a little drop down there. It's just to the left of the scaling. And then we can change the scale. We'll just put some values in here. You can see there's a zoom. This will zoom in there. And you see it gets better. It maintains the same starting point, but now you can scroll through it in more detail. And, you, and again, the snapshots and the videos are all linked here. Uh, between the chart and the grid down below here. And uh, if we change it one more time, we can go really high. We've just gone to a factor of 10 right now, but you can see what it's doing. It's just sizing it and lets you slide around there. So even if there's only a few seconds between the videos and the snapshots, we'll be able to pick it up using the scaling here.